Hey what's up guys, in this video we will be having a closer look at the DN3 ROM that is the Ditto Note 3 ROM for the Note 2 based on Android 4.4.2 KitKat and this ROM provides us with the latest TouchWiz UI that we have seen with the Galaxy S5. The official KitKat update was not very impressive, it was very much like the Android 4.3 so I had to opt for custom ROMs to get the new UI and features. So installation method is the same, that is you need to perform a factory reset, wipe cache and Dalvik and then install this ROM. But you must be on a TWRP recovery to install this ROM. So if you don't know how to install it, check the link one from the description. Installing this ROM will erase all your apps and data, so make sure you back up everything you need. So without taking much of your time, let's get into this ROM. Starting from the lock screen, you get this new unlock effect that you have seen with the Galaxy S5 and you also get additional effects which I will be talking about after some time. You even get this camera shortcut on this lock screen so that you can launch the camera from here. And one thing guys, with the official KitKat update, you don't get the camera shortcut on the lock screen if you use the pattern unlock. But with this ROM, you do get the camera shortcut even while using the pattern unlock. You can take pictures but you cannot view them. You have to unlock and go to the gallery to view the pictures that you have taken. Coming to the home screen, you get these white icons on the status bar, the new weather widget, OK Google functionality from the S5, the circular toggles, the new transition effect and my magazine from the Galaxy S5. You can customize your home screen by tapping and holding on an empty space. Go to home screen and here you can change the transition effect and you can enable or disable my magazine. Coming to the app drawer, now we don't have the apps and widgets tab. Everything is working perfectly fine and smooth, everything feels fast, all the basic functionality like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, camera etc works perfect. This ROM also brings you the S5 style settings menu. Talking about the features, new features has been ported from the Galaxy S5, starting with the toolbox. Enabling this will give you a floating icon on your screen, under which you can have up to 5 shortcuts, so that you can launch these apps very quick. You also can customize it. Tap and hold the toolbox icon, hit edit and select the apps that you want. Next is the ultra power saving mode. Enabling this will make your device go completely black and white with a very minimalistic UI where you cannot access all the apps, just the basic calling, texting etc. This is very handy when you are running low on power. You can see private mode but this is not working as of now but hopefully with the future updates it will. This is like a private vault where you can add all your pictures, documents so that nobody can access it. Let's move on to settings. So here you have got a new option that is download booster that is very much self explanatory. Coming to the lock screen, everything is there from the previous Android version but here you can get some new unlock effect like light effect, stone skipping, watercolor etc. You also get this one-handed operation that we have seen with the Note 3 and the S5. Even with the KitKat update, the one-handed operation was limited to certain apps. But with this ROM, you can shrink the whole display. You can enable use for all screens and then you can perform this gesture to shrink your display. And uh, you know, you can use it single-handed as in you can use this device with a single hand easily.
As per motions and gestures goes, everything remains the same and everything is working perfectly fine. All the Note 2 features like the S Pen features, multi-window, etc. works great. Air command is missing with the official KitKat update as well, but with this ROM, you get the air command as well. And it's working fine. And also, you can now manage the apps that you want to run on your air command via this app called Any App Air Command. There is also an option to change your theme, that is, if you don't like the TouchWiz icons, you can change it to the Xperia UI without losing the TouchWiz features, as you can see here. Well, there are some things that is missing from the S5, like new icons, new UI for music player, recorder, etc. Camera UI remains the same on the Note 2, but this ROM provides way more features than that of the official KitKat update. So guys, apart from all the features that you get by default with the Note 2, I have mentioned almost everything that's new with this ROM. Everything is working fine, you can use this ROM as your daily driver. No lags, no crashes, multitasking is better as in it's much more smoother while switching between apps etc. The device feels very responsive and fast. Battery performance is good, definitely better than the Android 4.3. So guys that's all for this video. If there's anything you want to ask, feel free to leave your comments. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great time.